Yeah, I, th I think we've heard a couple of the key components today. Uh, uh, mobile is one and cloud, I think, is another, where uh, we recently did a online uh, webinar on what we call identity as a service. And I think of those kinds of initiatives combined really to be able to offer identity as a service. And uh, we had a large number uh, of folks turn out. And the interesting part to us is we did some polling questions. And one of the key areas we looked at was, you know, we talked a little bit about Jeremy's national strategy and whether or not it would benefit the nation essentially. And over half of the respondents felt his initiative could benefit them. Yeah. So it's also an area where I think the federal government is providing very strong leadership through the NSTIC and FICAM initiatives you heard today. Um, I think that we're gonna move to a world of what I consider dynamic access control. So for the ability for applications and, and relying parties to make real-time decisions based on a variety of factors, uh, sometimes called attributes or privileges. So really to make those decisions in real time, to have a choice of what time types of technologies and tools I use as a consumer uh, to uh, to verify my identity uh, to give me that choice and also to introduce things like I, what I call identity history so one of the key uh, challenges of 9-11 is we didn't have a lot of identity history right. on the attackers so really moving into that realm where we can look at identity history and we can look at real risk and uh, prevent things like these large breaches. So right. real control over data as well tied to the identity. Yeah. So that's kind of where I see things. Yeah, going. very good. That, 